ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you're all doing uh, very well. And welcome to the uh, the M1 and <laughs> a very drizzly and dreary uh, Royal Hillsborough. So, uh, as you could uh, tell, folks, I haven't had a video up in the last uh, couple of weeks because uh, I have been plagued with uh, two breakdowns. Uh, and of course the bike was off the road for uh, a week or so while it was getting the, uh, the seat reupholstered but however <laughs> the breakdown so about uh, two weeks ago nice sunny day and I was on the way down to uh, Port of Ferry to do a bit of filming for yourselves for it was a it was a lovely day the sun was out and uh, no wind and just a, just a perfect day and all and I got uh, 10 miles down the road and the poor wee girl here, yeah, she started uh, started losing power. So about uh, 50, <laughs> about 50 metres away from the garage, she conks out all together and I couldn't get her restarted. So of course there's me pushing more or less a brand new bike through Portiferry up into the garage. And uh, of course you, hit, you, you push the start button and all you were getting was the click, click, click. So I knew rightly it was a bad battery. So of course I couldn't get any of the family or friends and eventually had to call KTM Assist who in turn had to call the AA and blah 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 blah. Anyway, so the wee AA man came down and we were chatting away and he says, have you any, have you any idea what you, yourself what the problem might be? And I says, I do. <laughs> I say, for this wee machine has sat in the dealership for nearly two years. He went, ah, he says, bad battery. So he hooked his machine up and uh, I shall... Picture, picture input now, <laughs> and as you can tell from his uh, his uh, battery machine, the battery was dead. She was taking the charge and holding the charge, but the battery herself was uh, knackered because she'd been sat for so long and hadn't been serviced prior to being sold. So that was all well and good, and uh, we jump started the bike, got her home. So I phoned up the boys from the, the dealership and I, I said, "Look, I've had a bit of a breakdown. Blah blah blah." And they were like, yep, no bother at all, new battery under uh, under warranty and all that sort of jazz. So we decided to go for the lithium-ion battery. You know, the whole weight saving, let's bring the weight down, super duper modern, zero carbon lithium batteries. <laughs> and I talk about the unluck of the Irish. No sooner had I hooked the new battery on, taking her out for a test ride, than she bloody broke down again. So, again, went to push and got click, 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 and I thought, there's no way in hell I can be that unlucky. Hang on, folks. I thought, there's no way a brand new lithium battery is buggered. So, <laughs> uh, I was able to get it home myself. Uh, hooked up the brand new lithium battery charger and battery maintenance thingy to her. And lo and behold, the battery charger says battery is kaput. It's no good. Battery health is uh, it's knackered. So again, no way in hell. <laughs> Two absolutely buggered batteries. And I'm thinking, well, is this the curse of the KTM? So, uh, so anyway, phoned up uh, the dealership again. And had to go through the whole KTM assist, blah, 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 blah. So AA man comes out and he was supposed to recover the bike to the dealership for them no he turns up in a wee van that size can't take the take can't take the bike he says for it should have been the big bike that was ordered uh, and all the rest of the funky jazz so uh i phones up uh and i'm speaking to the to the to the lovely rebecca and I explained it to how the A had turned up and, uh, and all, you know, just blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so the very, very lovely, and I mean, Rebecca, oh, hang on. <laughs> visor up, visor down, visor up, visor down. So, the, and uh, what was I saying? The very, very lovely Rebecca, and Rebecca is lovely. She's, she's an absolute star and a demon at the dealership for she will, her knowledge of the motorcycle industry is vast and, uh, her, uh, her approach to the business is uh, something else and it's uh, business practice is as smooth as glass. Anyway, so long story short, uh, Rebecca, she uh, she got one of the boys to bring down their van, lifted it and brought it up that same day. So a week later, 
and uh, I mean this is don't forget folks we're coming up and, we're, and here welcome to uh, welcome to Royal Hillsborough you know it's uh, a lovely lovely wee town but uh, you couldn't afford to live here folks for uh, apparently Prince Charles oh, sorry King Charles has had a poo in one of the service stations which has doubled the house price like you know so <laughs> as soon as royalty comes that's it you're paying through the nose for house prices <laughs> imagine that paying double for a house because King Charles had a poo somewhere but uh, anyway so getting back to my story so the very very lovely Rebecca got uh, dispatched the van picked up the bike the same day and uh, so because it's pre-riding season McAllen's motorcycles is hammered the boys are rushed off their feet the phone never stops ringing and uh, every day I was on the phone and of course either Philip or Marty or Bex or somebody was oh, we'll phone you back Davey as soon as we and uh, she's been up there for a week eventually Philip got involved yesterday and laid down the law and said right this fella needs to have this bike back on the road so I uh, got the call come up and get her for he just said he said look Davey would you mind just putting the good old-fashioned lead acid back then for we know it works and we know it's not going to break down on you so I said Philip whatever you think yourself or don't bear in mind folks Philip himself is a racing legend I mean uh, when it comes to the knowledge of uh, that sort of thing he is very very hard to beat so in went the uh, the lead acid uh, went up to get it this morning and uh, was able to bring back all the bits of bought for the accessories for the lithium and all that and true to the word gave me the full refund and all all the all the great stuff and again because it's just covered under the warranty like you know I didn't have to fork out any cash so that's been the last three <laughs> three weeks so oh and talk about chomping at the bit but and of course in the middle of this year I've my wee annual outing on the uh, silo carts as well so the last three uh, I'd say the last three or four weeks have been busy enough folks enjoyable a bit stressful but uh, but we got there in the end for do you know I was going to do uh, the whole woe was me video last week and uh, I thought I had it made I had it ready to go up on the YouTube there and do you know I thought better of it for folks I'm too old and too buggered, <laughs> buggered to give a shit about stuff like that you know I don't do problems I do solutions I'm here to enjoy myself I make videos because it's great for the mental health and I enjoy it like you know so I'm not going to turn into one of these oh doom and glooms what was me bike broke down blah 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 you know <laughs> so, so even though we've been off the road for a couple of weeks things have been happening behind the scenes but we're back now so she's up and running and I can actually get some miles on her now so for I think we're uh, we're still at uh, oh, 87 miles so, <laughs> so uh, we've uh, we've re uh, we've rebooked the uh, the whole uh, first service thing for the end of June and all that uh, funky jazz we have uh, we have uh, we've already started to accessorize for we have the lower crash bars on we have some bits and pieces I've got me uh, the old uh, what's it called luggage rack on as well like you know and uh, I we're doing well folks we're doing well and she, she feels absolutely amazing she really does for uh, it's, uh, the seat I got upholstered in Belfast which I'll have to do a video on that at uh, some point as well folks if you're in the north of Ireland and you're having bother with your seat and you want something a bit more comfortable I'll uh, I'll link the name somewhere here <laughs> once I find it once I remember how to do it so it's uh is it motorcycle seats Northern Ireland or something anyway the name is up here and the phone number I'll put it in there as well I mean the girls they're not hard to pay they did an absolutely fantastic job and rather than me having to pay 300 pound for uh, an aftermarket seat a hundred quid and the ray posted it with the foam and gel and you know it's like riding the sofa it really is it's just it's turned she's gone from a brick into a lounge chair <laughs> so special thanks to the girls of at uh, motorcycle seats uh, and I 
absolutely fan job, fantastic job. And again, and, and, and this is this is another big thumbs up for the folks up at McAllen's. I mean, from Marty, Harley, Stevie, Jason, Rebecca, uh, the girls up in the office, Philip himself, as young Philip's young fella now, who's uh, he, he's about the place. You know, a special thanks to them all. And if you're ever in the market for a new bike, maybe you'd like to consider KTM or Triumph. No matter where you are in the world, you know, go and have a look, have a ride, see what you think yourself. Or, I know the old KTM's have had a bit of a bad rep for reliability and stuff, but you know, there's nothing that can't be fixed or uh, upgraded or updated for, uh, there's not many accessories for this uh, Ujimi flip, but uh, 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 folks, I've still got a pulse, I can still, <laughs> I can still win the show. So uh, anyway, saying, saying, I anyway, say, I mean, especially the 2122, uh, 2021-22 KTM's, there is that many aftermarket accessories out there for them, it's freaking ridiculous. I mean, you can sort of rebuild your entire gearbox engine frame type thing with the amount of accessories, so it's uh, reliability issues is a, it's a thing of the past, so that's that. Right, where are we folks? I've no idea. Anyway, we're in a lovely wee village here somewhere. Where the fuck are we? I have no idea where I'm at. <laughs> There's that many wee town names and village names, like, you know. But anyway, it's a quaint wee village, whatever it is. But again, because you're close to Belfast and Lisburn, you're still paying through the nose for house prices and the like. Look at, look at the, 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 the nimbleness of the wee kids. Yes, she's lovely, man. Absolutely lovely, folks. She really is. So that was that. That was uh, the last couple of weeks of uh, shenanigans going on behind the scenes. But sure, the fun will continue, folks. The fun will continue because, uh, like I say, we've still got some more accessories coming. I've got some more bits to add on, like the upper crash bars. I've got the uh, the rear brake well guard and guide and all that sort of stuff to install. And uh, hopefully the weller will improve at some point and we can get out and about a bit more. And, make some of them lovely videos for you and see a bit more of this beautiful countryside and I mean even though it's a bit of a crappy day I mean there's so lovely views and spectacular views and scenery and stuff so. and again we have the entire of Ireland to explore <laughs> for those for those folk who are not native to the country like and have watched the video and have subscribed and says big special thanks for all that there like you know but uh, but no, that's about it folks, that's about it for uh, for this week. And it was just a, a bit of an update to let you know what's been going on and uh, all the good stuff that goes with it. And if you bear with me till I get past this old junction, and uh, we shall give you the final thoughts. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, the clutch is very short in this thing, compared to the old Tagger. Now this, this junction here, folks, in between uh, Lisburn and Balnehenge is an absolute killer of a road. For not only have you got shitty wee uh, junctions like this here, you've got fucking impatient ignorance who'll try and cut corners or overtake, undertake. And the amount of accidents up and down this road is just ridiculous, it really is. There we go. Cross without being crashed. <laughs> so like I say, what was my uh, the final thoughts for the day? Yes indeed. indeed, 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 indeed. Right, so now that I have my first cut finished and uh, the extortionate electricity bill here, folks, and uh, this is the Northern Irish folks here. Tell me this and tell me no more. Have you noticed that your electricity bill has jumped by 40% in a year? And I mean, I don't mean just to buy a couple of quid, I mean an actual 40% jump. For 2022's bill for May was £240. This month's bill for May was 410 How the fuck does that work? Bear with me folks, another junction. So 
So honest to God, see when the bell came in folks, I nearly pooped a brick. <laughs> I was going to say something else here. Honestly, I was absolutely ripping mad. I mean, how the holy good God can they justify a jump and that much? And then two freaking hours later, I had some call centre arsehole for me saying, trying to tell me that the price of freaking uh, electricity, gas and all the amenities was going down. Christ, I nearly bit his head off. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I mean, how the folk are supposed to live or continue with their wee hobby? I hear folks, the hell with that, you know, I don't give a monkey flan. The thing is, the bike's back in the road, I've still got my health, we've had fun in the first cut, bills are paid, and next thing is we're going to disappear down south. We're going to do some uh, mountain passes and some uh, wild, the wild Atlantic way, and hopefully June will turn out to be quite a nice uh, sunny month, because it's uh, what, middle, of, middle, of, uh, middle of May and it's like winter. <laughs> But sure, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And until then, folks, stay safe, get out, enjoy yourself, and all the funky stuff. And as always, thanks for the likes, the subscribes, and the comments, and all the, and all the bits and pieces go with it. And we will see you on the next video. And by, the, by that time, hopefully, I'll have the rear-facing camera and uh, all the bits and pieces reinstalled, and uh, we'll, we'll keep it lit from there. But, as always, thanks for watching folks, and we will see you soon. Totally pips for now. Bye-bye. Oh look, more grass cut. Hey!